today we're giving the opportunity to the students to save someone's life. It's a great way to give back to your community. I know when I was a CSUN student back a long time ago, it was the first time that I gave blood and I wanted to do something for my community. I wanted to give back and I didn't have a lot of money as most students uh, can attest to. And so someone invited me to a blood drive where I worked and I've been a blood donor ever since and I never thought I would ever be working as a blood do drive coordinator. And I did start donating with Providence Hospitals. We're expecting about 40 students today. This is our first time here on campus. There is no substitute for human blood. Uh, I wish there was. With all the medical advancements, there still isn't that substitution because the, the red blood cells have to be replenished when someone's losing uh, those red blood cells in other ways. So it really depends on strangers to be the person who saves your life. You can't wait till there's a traumatic incident that you need blood because it takes three days to process the blood. So it really is up to strangers to help one another. They do receive something. It's not as much as what your blood is worth, but they do get a pint for a pint, a pint of Baskin Robbins ice cream for a pint of blood. And also, they get the knowledge that they're helping someone, possibly saving someone's life. I know for me, that was why I started giving blood. And usually, that's the reason why people give blood, because they know they want to help. It's not for the ice cream, but it's a nice way for us to say thank you.